Yes, with these frigid temperatures, the more heat, the better. But stressing out a heater or a wood stove could lead to trouble, even fires. And the fire marshal says everyone needs to be careful. With the cold comes the urgent need for heat. Rhymes propane and oil drivers know this all too well. They come in the morning at 7 o'clock, and they finish at 7 o'clock at night. And they're just out one house after another after another, just keep delivering. Furnaces should always be maintained to keep them running well and safe. But alternative means of heat also need to be used carefully. During these times where the cold weather really takes place is where um, that's when we see the increase in this type of fire. A space heater is already believed to have caused a fire in Wolfboro, leaving a homeowner with minor injuries. The fire marshal says always plug the heater directly into the wall. Never use an extension cord. And make sure all combustibles are at least 36 inches away from the heater. If it's a wood stove you're firing up, keep the chimney clean and make sure all the seals are good. One of the other problems that we see regularly with the wood stoves is um, People will pile their wood right next to the stove. They'll bring the wood in for the night because they don't want to go out into the cold. They'll pile it right next to the stove. Next thing you know, they have a fire in their living room. And always put discarded ashes in a covered metal box outside on the ground. And if you have to go out, wear loose fitting layers, a hat, and gloves. Cover your mouth with a scarf to prevent cold air from reaching your lungs. And have emergency supplies in your car in case you break down because it's only expected to get colder. I heard it's going to get bad tomorrow, so I'll just put my long joints on tomorrow, and I'll be all right. Now, frostbite and hypothermia can set in very quickly when these temperatures dip so low. So in the coming days, only be outside if you absolutely have to. Reporting live in Manchester, Heather Hamill, WMUR News 9. Heather, thank you very much.